So now in this video we uh, combined what is almost a P channel enhancement mode uh, MOSFET switch and an N channel enhancement mode MOSFET switch in that way. Their gates are tied together and their drains are tied together and this is a push pull circuit. So the output is either uh, basically 5 volts, you lose a tiny bit of voltage uh, if it's 5 volts uh, supplying it and it could either uh, be that or zero volts, I should say, right there. Um, not quite zero volts, but uh, very close to uh, zero volts. Now, to uh, determine what the output is, is set by the input. When the input is high, the uh, output is actually low. It connects to ground. The blue LED lights up like you see there. You can see the jumpers to the positive supply. Blue LED is lit up. It's positive there, headed uh, down to ground. Now, if uh, we leave this floating, I can actually, it's uh, switching back and forth 60 times a second right now. But, uh, again, they hold a charge. Something to be aware of. Usually, you just jump from one voltage to the other. But you go to the negative supply. And uh, so that's a low input. We have a high output. The red LED is lit up. So current is flowing in that direction right now while the input is low. So now to end this, um, of course, we don't need this inverter here, push-pull inverter. So it's pushing when the output is more positive, and it's pulling when the output is more negative. That's how that works. Um, we don't need it. We can power these LEDs with the switch here directly, and I control where I move my little jumper switch. Um, so we don't need this, but sometimes there is an integrated circuit or something. You want the opposite signal going to something else than what the output of that integrated circuit is. And uh, so you could easily just uh, set this up, as you saw there. Um, also, sometimes that output can't provide enough power, in this case, to light LEDs. A lot of them can't uh, even light LEDs. And uh, so, again, all we do is apply a voltage to these gates. Current doesn't go in or out other than just a slight shift while the voltage is changing, practically nothing. And, uh, but then, they turn on or off fully as long as there's enough uh, voltage. Which brings us to our next uh, reason. So I have 555 five, five timers. Sometimes in the circuit I want an output of 5 volts or 0 volts. The 555 five, five timer goes to 0 volts really well. But uh, if you don't ask current from of it, from the uh, output of the 555 five, five timer, and uh, you have 5 volts, you're probably going to be lucky if the output gets to 4 volts. And uh, so if losing that volt is a problem, you can just take a couple MOSFET transistors like this. The output will be inverted. So, I mean, if you really need it to be the same, you could just have another stage where you have these MOSFETs again and then just invert it again. But in uh, any case, I'm pretty sure with uh, 4 volts, that's still enough to uh, turn on the end channel enhancement mode MOSFET fully. Um, and then when it goes to ground, that's enough. Uh, it goes to 0 volts, so that will definitely turn on the uh, P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET almost fully. So we should be able to get the output range of 5 volts and 0 volts when the 555 timer can only provide, uh, if you have to provide current, it'd be like 3.5 volts uh, and 0 volts 